So what I'm hoping for is to get an um, ecosystem going, a community around um, the Heimlich HSM framework. And for that, we need all kinds of contributions. It can be code contributions, it can be testers, it for sure should be users. Um, and what I'm hoping for is that we get um, connections to users and to testers, to a community over the Eclipse SDV. Because the more people are actually using our software, the better it's going to get. We try to um, bring Heimlich to uh, as much hardware as we can. So we try to make it generic, but it should also be usable. And to get this balance between usability, but not over abstracting it, and making it still useful on a lot of different hardwares, that's what we're going for. And the more people use it and test it and bring it to different hardware, the better. Three years. I hope it doesn't take three years, but if, if it rolls on the street, like in real cars, not just a prototype or, or a Git repository or anything, but a car that manages at least part of its secrets in this HSM, and you and me still feel comfortable getting into that car, that would be, that would be cool. Open source is already used in the car, right? So even if you have commercial projects, internally they use a lot of open source code, whether they say it or not. Um, what I'm hoping for, especially for a security component, that this gets, this part of the pie gets bigger, right? So if we have a HSM that is not just partially open source, but actually 100% open source, like, let alone the integration code, but mostly open source, that would be something that at least I would trust more because in security, uh, fortunately, people started using open source code more and more and they started trusting more and more. They said, if I can see how this works and I still trust it, that's how I really trust it. I don't want to trust it because I cannot see how it works. So this principle applied to an HSM, that's something that I would really like to see in a car. An HSM is a hardware security module, so it's a very small part. Um, it's a chip inside the, uh, a car ECU, so a computing unit, and it does the it keeps the keys secret inside the car. So whenever you your ECU part of your car needs to encrypt something, sign something. To do any cryptographic work, it defers that work to the HSM, doesn't do it itself, and even if an attacker manages to hack your whole car, he only manages to hack the ECU, but he does not manage to hack the HSM, so it still keeps your key secret even, even if a compromise occurred. <laughs>